Hey everyone. All right, this is Darla from San Diego. I'm gonna jump right into this so that I can keep this under five minutes, but I just had to come on here and share a story. Um, I noticed, you know how when you go on Facebook and you see your friends and you see someone's face is just, oh, by the way, I just got in from the gym. In case you're wondering why I'm all shiny, it's sweat. <laughs> I just got in and, and I smell, uh, Pretty good. Good thing this is not something you can smell. But anyway, I wanted to jump on here and um, share something with you for a couple reasons. We've had a few people in our circle pass away recently that have did they, they could still be here. I've had some situations where people are because you guys know I do coaching, so I've had some people sharing with me some really sad, depressing times that they're going through in their life. And so when I was on my friends list, because I'm maxed out on friends, I'm constantly trying to find people that are, you know, that I can remove to add different friends. And I saw this friend from high school that I've been friends with for a long time. And it was the outline of a face. Her face wasn't there anymore. So I went over to Messenger and I checked when the last time was that we talked and I sent her a private text message and I says, hey girl, um, what's up with you on Facebook? Where'd your face go? And she said, I deleted my Facebook account. And I said, why did you delete your Facebook account? And she said, because I'm tired of all the BS that's happening in the world. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have got to talk on this topic. It was about three and a half years ago, you guys, that I made the decision to start cleaning up my friends list. Fast forward to today, I have zero negativity on my Facebook. I am surrounded by the most amazing network of people. And I don't know, it's hard to put into words how important it is to be surrounded by a network of people that are loving and caring and kind and supportive. I didn't do it overnight. Every time I would see a political post or I would see a, those people who, what was really big in the beginning were the animals, people that let animals fight, taking those off, people who post negative memes. And I don't necessarily block them or unfriend them, I just unfollow them. I've, I've started just removing them from my inner circle and moving them and started pulling people close that were positive and inspirational and motivating and uplifting. And I started bringing them into my world. Now, many of you know that I just started send out cards three years ago. And I can't even tell you what life is like with this network of people. They are high EQ people. They're not high IQ. Oh, wait. Yeah, they could be high IQ. Oh, gosh, if I could erase what I said. I didn't mean that. They could be high IQ, EQ. But one thing that they are is high EQ. High EQ type of people are high emotional people. People that believe in inspiring and loving on and lifting up and building. And they believe in hugs and caring. And they, they go the extra mile for their tribe of people because of the type of people that they are. Now, mind you, I never used to send cards from my salon days I did. I hadn't sent cards since... I'm on a live. <laughs> Close the door. <laughs> Woo, good thing I moved that away real quick. <laughs> um, but I want to show you, this is just today's mail. That and this is today's mail. Gifts and cards that come, this is yesterday's mail, okay? This is the day before's day mail. And you guys, it's hard to explain what it's like to have so many people that pour love into your life. And I wanna challenge you that if you don't send cards, to start sending cards. Send out cards makes it possible because you don't have to do the printing, the stuffing, the stamping and everything. But I wanna tell you about something called a 30 day gratitude challenge that'll change your life. It'll absolutely 100% change your life. A 30 day gratitude challenge. It's gonna cost you about $40. $40. You would go to dinner and spend $40. But what that does when you wake up every day and you send one card to say, I'm sorry for the loss of your brother. I'm sorry for the loss of your mother. Hey, I'm really sorry for 
what happened to us when we were kids. I miss you and I love you. To send your spouse a card listing all the reasons why you love them, watch what that does to your marriage. To send a card to your employees to just say, I just wanted to take a minute to say, you rock, you're amazing. Thanks for being such a great employee. You make my world a better place. To send a card to your boss to say, I don't know if I've ever really told you what a great boss you are and how much I love working here. Or what about to your neighbor who you know just had a baby to say, congratulations on your baby. If you ever would like someone to babysit one night, here's my number, you know? Reach out and let somebody know how important they are. You will not believe what it'll do inside of you, and you won't believe what it'll do inside of the person that receives it. You guys, I get messages all the time, people in tears, videos of people in tears telling me that they hadn't gotten a card in the mail in years, and they can't believe why they're crying. They said they can't explain the emotion of what they got by getting a card. And what that is is dopamine. It's dopamine that's being released in the brain. And they can't explain it, especially if they're millennials, because millennials were raised in a no-touch, high-tech, digital world where people don't touch anymore. They, they, when people stopped sending cards, they removed the personal touch. And I want to encourage you to take the 30-day challenge. I'm going to post it up here when we're done, and I'll drop it in the bottom of these, of these notes. Wake up every day and send one random act of kindness out into the world. What it does to your world is hard to explain. Tell your children. Send your children a card with their picture on it and telling them what a great kid they are and the qualities of their life. And watch what that will breed within them. It will grow that. When you, when you appreciate people and you appreciate things, the universe and people and the law of reciprocity kicks into action. And then one day you can you wake up and you're like, oh my gosh, I have not had any negativity happen in my life in so long. I live every day in a state of abundant joy and happiness with overwhelming love constantly coming at me. And you guys, you it's hard to explain, but you have to try it. You have to do it and watch what it does. The world needs more love. A card a day keeps depression away. <laughs> Send two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, you guys, don't unplug yourself from social media. You need human connections. Unplug yourself from the negativity. Remove the negative people in your life. Unfollow them and start adding a tool to your life that will allow you to love on people. And as you do this over time, doors open opportunities start coming your way, referrals to whatever your business is, new friends that are high, I, high EQ people that, that, that love in abundance, those types of people, you start attracting them into your world and it's priceless. All right, you guys, I wanted to share that. I said five minutes. I kept you on for three extra minutes, but thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Bye.